Today we're going to be working with complex numbers and going to calculate i to the power of i where i is an imaginary unit some people call it square root of minus one and the most important property is that if you take i and multiply it by i you get minus one. Before we're going to solve this problem first let's talk about different representations of complex numbers. Our standard representation tells us that any complex number could be written as a plus ib, where a and b are real numbers. Another representation is a polar form, where we can represent a number as r times cosine theta plus i sine theta, where r is absolute value of a complex number, which is equals to square root of a squared plus b squared. And there is a third exponential representation of complex number that tells us that the number equals to r times e to the power of i theta. So if you look at our number i, our number i is a number that has a equals to 0 and b equals to 1. And it's not difficult to see that in this case r will also be equal to 1. And now i should be equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta, where cosine theta should be 0 and sine theta should be 1. Now, it's not difficult to see that such theta exists, and one of the options is theta equals to 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians. But the trick of this problem is to find not just a theta, that give us cosine of 0 and sine of 1. But to find all possible values of theta that gives us those values for cosine and sine. And as you can imagine, if you take pi over 2 and add or subtract 2 pi or 4 pi or 6 pi or any integer number of 2 pi's, we will still get cosine equal to 0 and sine equals to 1, and in fact those are the only values for theta that satisfy these conditions. So the general solution for theta should be pi over 2 plus 2 pi n, where n is any integer, it could be 0, plus 1, minus 1, plus 2, minus 2, and so on. Now if you substitute this value of theta into an exponential form for i, this is what we're going to get. In our case, we would like to take this i to the power of i. So in fact, we would like to take this exponential form and take to the power of i. And to do this, we just simply need to remember a formula that a to the power of b to the power of c equals to a to the power of b times c. And this formula works for both real and complex numbers. And that means we can take this i and put it right here. And we get here i times i, which we know equals to minus 1. So we can rewrite this expression like this. And at the end, we can open the parentheses to find our final answer. One thing to notice that i by itself is a complex number. But i to the power of i is actually a real number. And in fact, it's not one number, it's an infinite number of numbers.